In this video, we're going to show you how to apply a MoDOT graphic filter. Now, a graphic filter is created to help you create a terrain model uh, from your corridor. So what we have here in this data set is we have a Road 1 corridor, and then there's a 3D view of it. And what I typically recommend is creating a new file called, you can call it graphic filter if you want, and it's a 3D file, and then you reference in the corridor information into that file and create your terrain model in that new file. And so that's what I have um, have already set up. I've got a new file out called Graphic Filter. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to check um, the corridors file in. Once the file opens up, you can see it's a just a blank file. I'm going to reference in the corridors road one. I'm going to also reference in the civil geometry, the super, and the terrain model. Okay. Now one file I will turn off the display is the super elevation. I don't really want to see these super elevation shapes, so I'm going to just turn those off. And there's my file. So again, this is just a blank file in which we're going to apply a graphic filter to create a terrain model of our Road 1 corridor. Now to do that, uh, you, can, you need to go over to the task and then slide down to terrain model. And in there we've got two areas where you have uh, icons that deal with uh, graphic filters. This one here, create terrain model by graphic filter, and then one called the graphic filter manager, which we'll get into in another video. So we're going to use this, go ahead and use this top icon, create terrain model by graphic filter. We're going to go ahead and pick our graphic filter, and then at MoDOT we have several default ones. So let's go ahead and look at those. Uh, in our uh, default library, we have a couple graphic filter groups, uh, and basically these are one, uh, graphic filters with boundaries. Okay, And boundaries, all boundaries do is it restricts triangles from being getting created outside uh, your corridor data. Okay, Let's go ahead and look at what these graphic filters will do. How they're created, we'll get into uh, in another video, but uh, just for your reference for this video. Okay, the very first one that we're going to look at is a graphic filter for bottom of base. And what this one will do is it will scan all the MoDOT templates that uh, we have in our ITL library. It'll scan the bottom of base points and create a terrain model out of those points. For the bottom of base daylighted graphic filter, what this will do is it'll scan all the points from the previous graphic filter, but also include a point that will also seek out uh, the design surface, whether it's a ditch or a fill slope. And again, uh, this functionality of seeking out this design surface is built into the actual roadway template. The next one is design finish grade. What this one will do is it will create a, uh, this graphic filter will select the points that make up the surface points of the design template, okay? And uh, create a, uh, a terrain model that from the tie down point to the left to the tie down point to the right and including all the surface points in between. Next one is proposed finished grade pavement and shoulder only. This graphic filter will create a terrain model of just the surface points along the shoulder and pavement. And the next one down is design top of base and what this graphic filter does is it seeks out the points that are on the top of the base of the template and then create a terrain model out of those points. So those are the basic um, graphic filters that we have uh, set up uh, in the MoDOT library. Now you can uh, create your own graphic filters if you like, and again, uh, we've got other videos that discuss how you create uh, graphic filters, but these are just the, the default ones that we have for the MoDOT templates um, in our ITL file. Okay, so to apply this, um, apply a graphic filter, again, we have just a blank file here, and we referenced in our corridor information. First thing we need to do is tell it what filter that we want to apply. We can apply a filter down here, or we can actually do a filter group, and all a filter group is is just basically 
individual graphic filters combined into one, and that's what we have here. And the one that we're going to apply is this proposed finish grade, which is this one right here, and then it also has a boundary, which is um, this one right here as well. So it's just two of these combined into this group one that we're going to apply. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. It puts it into, um, into the field up here. Uh, and I can also uh, select preview just to see if it actually sees those points in that template. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. You can see it highlights and uh, it's looking good as far as uh, the points that are it's grabbing. And then all you need to do is uh, finish out the, the dialog here. For edge methods, since we're using a boundary, um, the boundary will take care of all the edge triangles, so you won't really need to set this to anything. Feature definition, we're going to use design boundary because this is a, a corridor, a design corridor, and uh, we're going to apply the design boundary feature definition to that. And for this name, we're just going to call it Road 1 Design Boundary. And so I just need to left click uh, through the prompts on my heads up display. Uh, triangulation option, edge method, none, and then just data point to accept. So once you data point to accept, the terrain model has been created. And to show you that, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my reference references here, and I'm going to turn off all my references. we're left with a just the terrain model that was created. Now the feature definition on this terrain model again is design boundary but we can also see the triangles if we want to. And you can see from the triangles how uh, the terrain model was created. You can see that it's, it's grabbing all the linear points in that uh, roadway template. And So you can also rotate this and and get a, a feel for what this terrain model is looking like. It, it's in a representation. This one happens to be a representation of your model. So that's all there is to creating a terrain model using graphic filters.